Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Trojan Horse Barbecue Channel. And uh, tonight we've got a, a special treat. So a couple of things that we're going to do tonight is we're going to smoke some chicken thighs, and uh, we haven't had those in quite a while. Typically, typically we go the chicken breast route, but we're going to go chicken thighs tonight. And then something that I'm going to do after we finish smoking the chicken is I'm going to show you how we smoke ice, and it's very, very cool, and it's absolutely delicious. But before we go any further, I want to shout out to Lola Paris, who's watching tonight from her uh, palatial estate uh, in Indianapolis. Lola, thanks for reaching out and, and uh, writing in. Another thing I wanted to mention briefly is we've had some requests from people um, wanting to have our, the recipe for the coffee rub that we put on ribs and, and, and pulled pork. So if you'd like to have a copy of that coffee rub, feel free to email me at shartley, H-A-R-T-L-E-Y, 5400 at comcast.net, and I'll send you the ingredients and we'll be off and running. But tonight, if you're from Indiana um, and have spent any time in northern Indiana, then you're very familiar with Nelson's Port-a-Pit. And uh, growing up, uh, pretty much on, in the summer on uh, Lake Tippecanoe, my mom and dad had a couple of places there and some great memories with uh, my dad and his uh, high school best friend, Steve Kiley, jetting off uh, when we lived in a condominium at Echo Springs in uh, Leesburg, Indiana, right on Lake, Lake Tippecanoe, and jetting off into North Webster to buy some uh, Nelson's Porta Pit for dinner. And Nelson's Porta Pit became so positive and so popular that, and they're out of Wakarusa, Indiana, by the way, that um, they're now a, a legend. And they've got a massive display up at uh, Notre Dame home games. So if you've been up there and enjoyed North Nelson's Porta Pit, you'll know what I'm talking about. So tonight, that's the route we're going. So we're gonna try the uh, Nelson's Porta Pit uh, marinade on some boneless chicken thighs. And we're gonna cook the chicken thighs till about 175 internal temperature. A lot of people like to do chicken 165. When you're doing thighs, 175 to 180 is typically the route to go at 350. So we've got the big green egg uh, fired up here and um, it's a little over 350, but once we put the uh, chicken on, it'll, it'll go down quite a bit. Um, so with regard to the port -a pit recipe, the ingredients are really simple. So obviously we're, we're working with black pepper, a lot of butter, Worcestershire sauce, salt, apple cider vinegar, and water. So I've had um, about four, a little over four and a half pounds of um, chicken thighs in a marinade uh, for, I don't know, roughly, I'm guessing probably around six hours or so. So we're gonna put these on the big green egg, cook them probably for 45, 50 minutes, and we'll see how they go. So we're gonna get, get the egg open. And here we go. So it's kind of messy, but uh, you know, again, we're gonna we're gonna see how it, how this thing works. So we've got um, about four and a half pounds of chicken thighs. And obviously, when you're working with a lot of butter and you put it in the fridge after you uh, melt it kind of uh, coagulate so um, but I really like the, the smell and the flavor of this marinade I'm typically not a marinade guy as many of you know I like I like the dry rub but um, Nelson's port of it is something different that we really need to work on and and um, so we're experimenting a little bit tonight and um, we'll see how we'll see how we go so again we'll put this on for I'm guessing it's probably going to be about 45, maybe 50 minutes. Again, 175 internal temperature, and um, we'll check back here in about 45 minutes.